Hello everyone. Our third speaker is here. He is a mentor and consultant at Little Monks. He's also a product development manager in British Telecom. And he is passionate about developing higher level of physical, mental, and emotional fitness levels in kids. And he will discuss to us the impact of technology on our kids' wellness and uh, frameworks to overcome that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome the Peel Wadua. Thank you, Francis. Uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to present uh, my deck. Uh, and, you know, uh, so I will share my screen. Uh, yeah. So is my screen visible? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, uh, for uh, joining this session. Um, so I'm Kapil Vadhva a mentor and a coach uh, for the Little Monks community. This is the community which, uh, you know, is is very close to my heart and which I, uh, you know, which I have started, uh, you know, I'll tell you the reasons for that. So this is the website uh, and the Facebook uh, link for the, uh, for Little Monks. So any, any one of you want to visit, you can visit at the website and the Facebook link. Uh, yeah, so I'll just start with one of the quote uh, from Dr. Rand Olson, you know, among the most sacred gifts you can give to your child is the gift of the health, actually. And the, this gift is best given by an example. And that example, we as a parent have to set for them, actually. So I want to start with this quote, uh, you know, this particular session. I, I mean, this describes, you know, how much, uh, you know, precious the, the health of the child are, actually. So coming to the topics which I will be talking today um, about my story and little monks, uh, then we will uh, you know straight away jump to the main topic which is the digital era, which I mean it, for me and and you know a lot of people it is still a less known territory for our kids. So what are the positive and negative sides of the technology? Uh, what is future bringing in the technology sides, and how it will impact our kids? and five-step framework, you know, to build our children for the next era, which is the digital era. And what are the do's and don'ts for the parents? Yeah, so this is uh, pretty much covers the overall, uh, you know, agenda of the, of the discussion today. Uh, so coming to my story, I mean, about myself. So I have a professional experience of around 18 plus years now, uh, you know, working in various uh, segments in the ICT sector, currently working in British Telecom. Uh, in, on the product development manager, uh, you know, while I've worked previously in consulting, pre-sales and product management roles. Uh, on the academic side, I am an MBA graduate from IIM Indore, uh, you know, and I am an engineer, uh, did my electronics and comms engineering from, from Haryana in, in India. So, uh, about my passion and hobbies, I'm quite passionate about wellness industry in the kids' domain, uh, you know, particularly the holistic methods of wellness, my micro niche again is the kids in the age group of 16 to 6 to 14 years. I've been a mindfulness practitioner and mentor myself, uh, you know, a spiritual healer. Uh, I have learned spiritual healings and I've been practicing on myself and my family members. And, you know, uh, so this has helped me a lot in, uh, to me and, you know, my family in gaining the, the, the health. Uh, and I'm, I've been a regular yoga practitioner for quite some uh, time now. Uh, so this is all about myself. Uh, so coming to the next slide, my story as a parent. Okay, now why uh, little monks and why you know this uh, is very close to my heart is because um, you know lately my daughter, a nine-year-old daughter, Adya, was diagnosed with ITP. Uh, so ITP is a and you know autoimmune disease. Uh, uh, which is immune therapeutic pura pura, what you call it. So wherein you know, uh, once body antibodies, uh, you know, they start killing the platelet. So uh, I mean, it's uh, your immune system start acting against your own body. So she was diagnosed in uh, this particular disease in January two thousand twenty one. 
and just to tell you about brief of my daughter she is a child prodigy i would say i mean she has been a, a one of the top performer in academics one of the finest artists you know she won many awards and accolades uh, she has been a brilliant keyboard player uh, you know already cleared third level uh, in the trinity college certification from uk she has a very active sport person uh, she i mean she was having uh, prior to this uh, illness she was having she was going for her lawn tennis classes learning martial arts and and this particular incident was you know something which it, it shook me act, actually and you know i can say it, it was one of the worst moment in my life wherein you know when i saw my daughter you know going to icu and you know uh, i could see that you know kids how kids are uh, you know suffering from the wellness side actually so again you know uh, coming to you know when i did a research on this uh, itp you know why what are the root causes of this problem actually so you know a lot of research indicates that kids today are taking a lot of stress and worries uh, you know uh, which is causing an imbalance in their immune system and which is one of the factor in development of the autoimmune diseases uh, so they again a greater level of fear and mental exhaustion uh, which kids are having today you know leading to greater mental turmoil is again you know one of the factor which is contributing uh, to uh, uh, such uh, ailments and again finally the unhealthy habits and lifestyles you know uh, you know like kids are eating while they're watching television no physical activity uh, you know and uh, i mean all these things are leading to increase in uh, you know number of ailments among the kids coming to uh, steps which i took for my daughter recovery you know because uh, uh, there are a lot of steps which i took you know so one was her allopathy treatment uh, which i had consulted the best doctors in delhi and cr in gangaram uh, her treatment has been done by one of the best doctors uh, i'm spending greater time with with the kids now you know every weekend i am going out with them uh, to the cafe you know going out on the walks post dinner uh, so uh, you know i i took this place that i will spend more quality time with my kids you know uh, from you know particularly uh, in this year uh, from this year actually so uh, because uh, we as a parent should, you know you know nothing can replace the quality time which we spend the, in our with our kids actually so this is quite important which and one of the important lessons which i learned during this phase uh, thirdly you know high value skill development again you know along the study you know how how you can ease the stress among the kids uh, you know particularly for the studies you know it's in my case i found it that we should channelize their energy towards other uh, you know skill development classes like in my daughter's case she is a regular uh, you know attendee of the keyboard classes she is attending drawing and sketching classes again you know in the sports side i have put her into a uh, table tennis uh, coaching now because i mean she uh, doctor has not recommended her to play lawn tennis but as she would recover i'll i'll we you know taking her to swimming or probably lawn tennis classes also later on and i started doing yoga classes for her actually you know i put her in yoga classes also finally the holistic care you know so again i i consulted a one of prominent doctor uh, you know in kerala dr vidya sagar he has a 25 years of work ex uh, more than 25 years of work experience particularly uh, you know treating patients in itp and you know i being myself a spiritual healer i i have been practicing spiritual healings uh, for my daughter uh, so all all in all outcome of that my doc daughter has is maintaining more than one lakh platelets now uh, and you know the, the the last report which i came i was uh, i mean literally uh, i mean that was the happiest moment that for last two to uh, one and a half two months she has been maintaining more than one lakh platelets now uh, and and you know that is that is a very big achievement for me and 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 this is where you know this particular uh, in you know incident in my life it actually 
you know, turned my life 180 degree actually, you know. And I, I came to know about my passion, you know. While I always had a passion on the fitness side, but I was, I was quite eager uh, to, you know, work on with the kids to develop their mental, physical and emotional uh, fitness levels. So this is the community which I want to build, Little Monks, a uh, fit kid community, wherein my vision is that where kids from 6 to 14 years have developed a versatile personality and attained a high level of physical, mental and emotional well-being uh, through discovering their inner joy and rhythm, you know. So along with the uh, fitness level, they have to have that inner joy and rhythm amongst them. And my mission is to develop holistically 10 million kids uh, again from 6 to 14 years, build their flexibility, stamina, concentration and emotion quotient in them. You know, just to tell you the figure, you know, today, I, I, it's, it's, I mean, it was quite amazing, you know, out of 1000 kids, you know, particularly in ITP, I was reading the stats, four to five kids are suffering today, are getting this disease, ITP actually, and particularly, you know, due to the increasing stress levels among the kids. So this is, uh, you know, and this is where actually, you know, we have to, as a parents, uh, you know, we have to take uh, that that steps so that our kids want to uh, should have the, the higher level of fitness level on on all the three aspects. So again, you know, coming back to this community, uh, I am collaborating with yoga, mindfulness, martial arts, and dance trainers to to build a unique platform where we can offer a comprehensive fitness programs uh, for the kids. And that this particular, uh, you know, platform I'm planning to launch by early next year, and I've already started work on this, wherein the main theme of the program will be uh, fitness with fun, you know, because one of the reasons why, why I've seen kids are not attracted to, uh, you know, programs like yoga or meditation is that, I mean, they, they find that the fun element is missing in these, uh, you know, uh, things, even in yoga and uh, meditation. So. I would make sure that fun would remain a key element while kids are, uh, you know, uh, you know, coming in our program. So the fun will be the integral part of all the programs, what we offer, what we'll offer in Little Monks. So coming to the main topic, uh, digital era, you know, uh, so it's a very less known territory for us and for our kids because, I mean, every day and you know we see a lot of new applications coming in particularly with the advent of internet and all of us are connected to internet now we see you know technology how technology is changing the lives actually while there are a lot of positive aspects but you know the kind of information we have today and you know it's it, it, it is bringing the negative sides of it also so which i'll talk about later in the slide you know, as you can see, there have been researches conducted by U.S. National Library uh, of Medicine. You know, ages, uh, kids from the ages from 8 to 28 years are spending 44 and a half hours a week on the digital screen, which is a huge number, I would say. I mean, I mean, if we compare our lifetime when we were teens or kids, this number is quite high, actually. And, you know, and it's not uncommon that kids are sending the texts, staying up late, uh, you know, wake up uh, in 2 a.m. in the night, you know, spending more time on social media, spending hours playing video games. So this is a new normal what we are seeing today. So th this is this is something, the slide which I prepared would show you how the things have changed. You know, the kids used to read physical books previously. Now we have the Kindle books and, you know, Again, kids are getting exposed to the digital stream from there. Previously, you know, they were having the social gathering, going to uh, movie halls. Now they are they are confined to their homes, watching Netflix, you know, all the OTT platforms, uh, you know, and and COVID has also played a major role, you know, wherein you know they are the less of social gathering are happening among the kids. Previously, the physical classes were there. Now it's on online classes which are happening, you know, uh, on the Zoom. Uh, you know, again, uh, this is exposing them to greater amount of their time on the digital streams. 
previously you know they were going out in the playgrounds uh, you know uh, for for uh, the sports and all now they are exposing themselves more on the online games actually yeah so this is something you know uh, the changes which are happening and finally you know socially also they are uh, not connecting more as they used to connect more often you know because their time is being spent more on the digital screens now you know and covid i would say has played its own part actually so when i talk about technology you know these are some of the things which i think uh, technology has a positive aspect uh, you know particularly how it is simplifying our lives you know particularly in the kids domain uh, kids education you know today you can get access to the best trainers through online mode uh, wherever you're sitting any part of the country you know uh, you, you can get the access to the best trainers even you know while while the kids have been able to conduct the classes because of the technology you know they can access it via the zoom applications or the microsoft team application uh, so technology has its own advantage when we're talking about the education similarly for the healthcare you, you can get best ex, you know pediatricians or specialist access uh, you know across the con country while consulting you know while doing the online consulting you can order online uh, medicines you can get uh, doctor appointments online you know today kids nutrition again you know you can get access to the best nutritionists for the kids uh, you know order safely the diets the best diets across the country again on the fitness side also you can uh, you know in in covid we have seen that you know a lot of yoga classes and dance classes have been conducting through the zoom sessions only uh, so so technology has played a lot of uh, good part also you know to simplify our lives and you know it has impacted our lives uh, like what has been stated now how uh, technology is impacting our kids negatively you know so i particularly talk about these five uh, you know offshoots of technology one is social media another is greater mobile access digital media uh, you know or the ott platforms online games and internet yeah so coming to social media uh, you know and i will be uh, asking you guys also questions on this that how you think you know these platforms are impacting uh, you know yourself and your kids actually so these are the predominant uh, you know negative impacts which have been observed uh, through social media on kids there have been increasing number of cases in cyber bullying uh, it's leading to lack of social development uh, because i mean most of the kids are not hanging out uh, they are engaged uh, you know looking at the streams and you know social media they are you know communicating with their friends on social media uh, so this is leading them to uh, you know not hanging out uh, physically with their friends uh, which is in a, you know leading to their lack of social development uh, feeling depressive and ignored at various times because uh, you know they are right now in the virtual world not the physical world wherein you know we as a as an parents have have experienced uh, the virtual world and you know similarly our kids are experiencing now uh, and it has led to a widening of understanding bit gap between the kids and the parents because at most of the time parents are not able to understand you know that the the whatever the offline lives of the kids are now determine their online lives actually so this is leading to gap in the understanding and the widening of the gaps uh, between parents and kids uh, yeah so and i would like to uh, ask you guys you know what what do you think what are the other impacts of the social media on the kids actually you know what you guys would have observed any anyone who can talk about that yes kapil uh, uh, you rightly said like because of this covid because we were not prepared right the kind of digitization these kids are exposed to which actually probably it would have come 5 years later but because of this covid suddenly everybody every every kid is exposed to that like earlier when we were not giving them them mobiles or laptops we are now forced to like they are spending 6 to 8 hours every day at least uh, 
so definitely you are you are you rightly said that and there are so many concerns like it's not only about health even security uh, like you mentioned cyber bullying also there are so many concerns and you really picked a very nice very noble mission actually this is need of our and uh, each and every parent actually need uh, some 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 awareness and precautions need to be taken and definitely i would like to ask if you want to give one advice to parents regarding this uh the exposure these kids are getting uh, like some wanted or unwanted exposure the kids yeah. are getting uh, due to the social media you want to give give some one advice to the parents what what you would like to say so one advice would be that see we should i mean i think instead of stopping them every time we we need to channelize their energy to the positive side actually you know see i i think i mean to divert their attention from all the social media technology we have to put them into lot of extra curricular classes i would say divert their attention towards you know uh, i would say make this a regime for them okay expose them to the classes like it could be yoga class it could be you know martial arts class it could be uh, you know um, fitness classes music classes dance classes okay there are a lot of classes where you you should engage your kids to depending upon their interest and their passions okay so we as a parent should know that where our kids uh, passion lies or interest lies actually and we should start engaging them because in my case you know as i said uh, while my daughter was exposed to laptops and all those the stress level had increased but i have put her into a lot of classes now okay and which i think you know is 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 diverting her attention from these platforms to other plat you know to to the key her key areas of interest actually thanks kabir thanks for the so i will move to the next slide uh again the online games uh, uh you know fitness impacts you know a lot of kids are playing lot of online games pubg and all you know uh, you know my daughter keeps telling me about although she doesn't play that uh and and lot of kids are getting addicted to the online games actually nowadays you know which is causing them to uh, you know again not uh, you know playing physically uh it's leading to a lot of problems like insomnia depression obesity eyesight related issues among the kids and there's a mental pressure and stress you know artificial stress which is being built by these online games uh, you know which is uh, leading to uh, you know they they want to they are competing with their counterparts and you know unnecessary stress and men- mental pressure is being developed through these games actually and further you know a uh, lot of money uh, at times you know there have been cases particularly in western countries like us and uk where and you know without parents notice they have loaned one parents money also in these games actually you know uh, so again these are some of the ne- negative impacts uh, again the next one is mobile access you know again you know we know that obviously mobile is one of the channels through which uh, kids watch uh, you know these content uh, but mobile in itself is is uh, you know causing a lot of problems because of the you know electromagnetic waves which come out, come out of the mobile and it actually interfere with our functioning of the brain actually you know so there have been studies which which state that uh, there have been medical elements like tumors uh, you know there is a risk of tumors if uh, we are exposed to uh, you know excessive use of cell phones actually and I mean, same applies to our children also. Uh, you know, because it it basically affects the brain activity. Uh, you know, as I said, electromagnetic waves uh, and their impulses they interfere with the brain own electric impulses. Uh, you know, and again, you know, if the kids are accessing a lot of content and a lot of they they uh, they are exposed to a lot of screen time, you know, it does affect the brain activity of the kids. and again you know they uh, they can get exposed to a lot of inappropriate messages uh, you know images content which is at their age might not be appropriate i mean 
because everything is at the click of the button nowadays and you know the, the things which we used to uh, you know uh, we were not getting it so easily today our kids are getting it very easily actually so we as a parent have to be very you know conscious about that and as i said i mean these all these things are causing a lot of sleep disruption related issues uh, with the kids i mean wherein kids are you know chatting with their friends on whatsapp in the night playing games on mobile and it is increasing to increase fatigue and restlessness among the kids actually yeah any 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 uh, more uh, you know experiences or negative side which you guys think you know through mobile uh, you know which you would like to highlight uh, because mobile is like part and parcel of our life today you know any one of you would like to highlight here i mean any specific concerns well yeah kids get very addicted addictive to it special to the games yeah yeah so again uh, digital ott platforms um, you know how uh, it is impacting the physical fitness uh, you know we are not going out to watch the movies on on uh, you know cinemas with the ott platforms amazon prime netflix you know everything is is at the click of the button you know you can kids can can watch any any movies any sort of uh, programs that they like uh, and you know while there's a, there's a autonomy and freedom but you know we need i mean as a parent we have to be very vigilant at what they're watching actually you know again you know these are the some of the negative impacts uh, you know it's impacting their physical fitness uh, you know leading to obesity uh, kids are not that muscular fit nowadays again you know uh, as there have been studies that say that the kids have been watching more than half an hour of smart TVs or ott platforms they are reflecting more on the depressive symptoms emotional distress physical aggression and poor social skills actually um, again one of the study by dr mirella suggested that excessive television watching has led to increased behavioral problems and unhealthy eating habits among the kids you know so these are some of the studies which have been conducted and uh, which i thought i will bring to your notice and finally you know uh, it is leading to lower attention span among the kids you know uh, wherein we as a parents also have seen that you know the attention span of ourselves is also becoming lower and lower and it is the same is happening with our kids nowadays uh, so i'll just skip through this because again these talk about the similar issues like you know uh, you know ex exposure to more of internet uh, it's leading to more of eyesight and obesity related issues now coming to the future you know what so this is something which is happening today you know so and what is going to happen in future how the technology is going to impact us you know because a lot of automation stuff we are we know is coming you know and uh, so how should we and then i will talk about how we can develop our kids for the future actually so what's next in the technology we, we see that i mean there there is going to be increase in task automation artificial intelligence i mean there will be obviously less of functional task um, you know emphasis will be more on the high value task actually you know uh, so we as a parent have to be very cognizant of the fact that we have to develop more of the high value task in our kids you know rather than you know they, they being only exposed to the functional task virtual reality is again going to be very dominant uh, particularly in the online gaming for the kids uh you know again this this is going to evolve. i mean they say that it's going to revolutionize the online gaming but i believe that it's going to make kids more addicted to you know these sort of technology actually so we as a parent have to be very conscious of this there will be greater robotic assistance in our home day to day task i mean our homes will become smart homes we'll have driverless cars so while i mean everything each one of these things will bring their own comfort but again with the comfort it it has their own negative impacts also you know like how it will impact our children obviously it will lead to lesser physical movement and work uh, i mean for our children so you know uh, 
while you know we as a kid used to do a lot of physical tasks uh, you know uh, while we were working and you know while we were at home uh, you know this is going to reduce for our kids so we you know as i said earlier we have to make sure how we channelize an energy and engage them into something you know which is good for their wellness actually secondly you know it will uh, you know immerse them more in, uh, mentally uh, in the coming days with with greater number of smarter devices uh, you know so they will obviously get more mentally immersed into those devices and again you know it will be lead to them to a greater exposure to the content content which you know we as a parent will have to make sure that we uh, we keep some regulation and control on that what they are being ex exposed to actually how do we prepare our kids for the next era i mean this is i think what based on my experiences uh, you know i have came up with the framework that you know how we can overall holistically build our kids for the next era you know i we have seen what is happening in the present what is going to happen in future you know and what what is coming in the future so obviously we as a parent have to be prepared and we have to prepare our kids for this that era so this is a framework uh, which you know i have worked in where and you know it it takes care of the physical mental and emotional well being of our kid you know so so this you know is a built framework which i had worked wherein you know it talks about that we have to uh, you know focus on maintaining the joy and the happiness level of those kids we have to you know work on their on building uh, the flexibility and agility in our kids because see the next era will demand a lot of flexibility and agility not only the physically but mentally also so we have to build our kids uh, for unleashing that high level of flexibility and agility improvising the focus and the control uh, you know we have to work on, along with them to improvise the next you know greater level of concentration focus and control uh, so that you know they become as a as a as a better human being and better citizens of the of the nation actually and you know obviously uh, you know the groundwork has to be laid by uh, you know developing the a a plus level of fitness and stamina and developing you know uh, effective sleep and nutrition habits among the kids uh, so this is a framework which i built which i thought uh, which i believe you know covers uh you know the mental uh, physical and emotional aspects of the kid development and these are uh, some of the activities uh, you know which uh, uh you know which we can engage our kids to develop each one of these aspects you know like for developing a plus level fitness level you know you can uh, send your kids for yoga martial arts you know engage them in running and jogging you know build effective diet for that you can engage them in other sports also to develop uh, that level of fitness level and stamina again you know uh, building uh, effective nutrition and sleep habits so you know you you can consult your uh, the dietitians to develop a diet chart for your kids so that they take you know effective uh, nutrition Uh, which are i mean which should be uh, full of proteins and vitamins actually you know uh, which are essential for their development uh, so you know we recommend that again uh, you know if kids are facing a problem in insomnia you know they i mean uh, we recommend that uh, you know practice of yoga nidra uh, you know which has been very effective in increasing the sleep quotient among the among various people you know we recommend yoga nidra for kids also uh, you know improving for improving the focus and control you know uh, mindfulness and breathing exercises especially pranayams uh, and uh, mindfulness exercises mindfulness is becoming very popular in western countries and in india also it's picking up where in lot of schools particularly in us and uk they are uh, i mean it's been practiced uh you know among the kids so that the kids are becoming more stable mentally and emotionally actually you know 
uh, you know, so it it is picking up a lot of, and India also, while, you know, we as a parents have been practicing a lot of meditations ourselves, uh, mindfulness, but we have to start engaging our kids also in these, uh, you know, uh, activities. Again, uh, increasing for increasing the flexibility and agility, yoga plays a, a, a you know, great part in that yoga basically increases a lot of agility and flexibility in the kids and you know it even in the parents also even amongst us it increases the level of flexibility actually and again you know uh, dance also you know it 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 provides that sort of uh, you know platform wherein kids become more agile and flexible uh, mentally and physically and finally you know uh, we should engage our kids in more of music actually whether it's instrumental music singing uh you know or sports so that they remain in a state of joy and happiness all the time you know you know what we are so all these activities what what end we are trying to achieve is that they have they should be in a state of joy and happiness all the time actually you know so this is the framework uh which i i you know uh, have explored and built, uh, you know, which I believe, you know, takes care of all the mental well-being aspects for the kids. Again, what are the do's and don'ts for the parents? Uh, as I said, we should ensure that we spend greater quality time with our kids. With, we should choose the programs, uh, you know, what they should watch uh, because there is excess content overall. and. Uh, you know, we should be very conscious of the fact that, you know, uh, we should take care of the fact that they should not be exposed to anything and everything, you know, on the content side. Uh, again, we should channelize their energy towards uh, sports, exercises. We should limit their screen time to one to two hours, uh, probably, uh, you know, of the child, children older than two years. And we particularly we should not allow the screen time during when they're taking the leaves actually, you know. So these, these are uh, do's and don'ts for us as a parent for the kids. Yeah. So this is it from my side today. And, uh, you know, I will open this forum for any questions which you want to ask me. Yeah, Kashi, you want to ask? Um, yeah. uh, Kapil, uh, good morning. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Kashi. Yeah, uh, the session was good. I just wanted to know one thing. Like uh, you saying, like you will be conducting this program. What would be uh, the contents you have already discussed as to what all would be the contents? But ultimately, what the child is going to get out of it, and how is he going to be, uh, you know, more interactive in this ent entire program? Yeah, so basically, uh, so our plan is to, uh, you know, launch this program in the next year, wherein there will be two level of programs. One will be the basic level, another will be the advanced level, depending upon how children are today, actually, uh, you know, what the level is today. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, overall, uh, you know, and it will be designed on this build framework, uh, wherein we will have four or five set of uh, classes merge uh, which will take care of all the aspects which i have indicated actually mm -hmm. so it will have the program would have yoga okay integrated with dance okay so as i said uh, the fun element will be the integral part of that program actually so whatever you are doing the fun element will be the integral part even why today mm -hmm. Kids are not coming for yoga and meditation because the fun element is missing for them, actually. That's yeah. right. Absolutely correct. And and so I I mean, I want to make it more attractive, uh, this particular offering to the kids. So fun element will be the integral part, wherein we will integrate dance along with yoga, actually. Okay. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, and uh, mindfulness, we will integrate with music. Okay. Mm -hmm. The kids... I mean, if we are practicing mindfulness for them, it will be integrated with the music actually. Mm -hmm. And and again, uh, you know, I am I am working with uh, trainers or the martial arts also. Again, you know, uh, like breathing exercises. Okay, 
mm-hmm. I, I'm uh, working that if we can integrate the breathing exercise with martial arts actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This will have uh, this program will have a unique uh, you know set of uh, you know all these exercises which will be a fusion of two or three things actually you know so mm-hmm. to make this overall program very attractive and over and above we will have a diet chart prepared for the kids you know okay uh, so that uh, you know uh, all the aspects have been taken care of what i have been indicating here actually that's right that's wonderful that's wonderful kapil thank you thank you for replying to me yeah any more questions uh, Francis, uh, I think uh, I'm done for today. I mean, uh, all right. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, and it was wonderful talking here. You're welcome. Thanks for being with us as well. Uh, That's a great topic. I agree. I agree with your topic. So. Uh,